thank you so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here i am with sanja it's like asking a question will sanja help you keep your smile for today and hopefully the answer yes you guys will try not to keep it on but y'all already know if it gets good i'm gonna keep on talking this i'm headed back to florida i had fun with my family in georgia and while i'm on this road traffic's not that bad i was like let me do a golden nugget and the golden nugget today is celebrate your victories and drop the victim mentality listen everybody has had some trials and tribulations. There's a speed trap ahead. Listen, you have got to make sure that you don't use your past or even your present as a stumbling block. And when I say stumbling block, that means you're in the victim mentality, which means you're stuck on what? So-and-so did this to me. So-and-so did that to me. When I was growing up, my mama didn't do my right. My daddy didn't do my right. My friends didn't do my right. And you're still telling that same story. Why? Because you are in a victim's mentality. A victim mentality, which means what? You stuck where you are and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Why can't I get my manifestations? Why I haven't received everything or what have you? It's because you are behind a stumbling block. You can't get over what has happened to you. Until you get over those things, that's when you'll be able to win. Start seeing some manifestations. That's why I tell you, you got to start celebrating your victories. When you begin to celebrate your victories, you are obviously already aligned and connected, which means where God is at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you, the shared but see within your journey with some clarity. And then when the more you celebrate the victories, whether they're big or small, you will find yourself what being grateful, being thankful, and then you'll begin to what pull in those manifestations. You can't continue. You cannot continue blaming everybody for why your life turned out the way it is right now. The only person that can stop you getting from what you're supposed to get is you. You're the only blocker. You're the only one who can decide if you're going to receive it or not. Nobody else. No past experiences. I don't care if your mama treated you like crap or your daddy treated you you like crap or you went through a terrible divorce or you went through something that was very traumatic the only individual that could ensure that you get what you're supposed to get is you because god has already provided it god has so much in store for you but you're over there behind that stumbling block still over there in the victim mentality blaming everybody for the reason why you're like you are well i can't be happy because my sister treated me like this when i was growing up i can't be happy because my mama treated me like this when i was growing up i can't be happy because my ex-husband did this to me i can't be happy because my ex-wife did this to me i can't be happy because my best friend for a long time ago did this to me listen you're the one that's creating stumbling blocks you better use those experiences as stepping stones to where get you moving forward to getting those things, stepping up to get those things that God knows that he has provided for you. The only reason, like I said, you don't have it is because you have decided to hold on to a victim mentality, a victim's mentality. So listen, if you want to see all that God has in store for you of those good kids and yum yums, make sure you start with, first of all, getting aligned and connected, which means what? God is at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you. That you ever see within your journey with some clarity. And then what will happen? You will begin to celebrate your victories and you will most certainly drop the victim's mentality. Stop blaming people. And you'll find that when you're in a victim's mentality, when somebody else is happy <laughs> and they're getting blessed, you will find some kind of way to find a flaw in it so that you can feel comfortable where you are as far as feeling like a victim. You don't want to be in that space. I want y'all to get all your good gifts and yum yums, all the things that God has in store for you, but I want to make sure that you understand you got to drop the vit victim mentality first and then start celebrating those what, victories, whether they're big or small. Sure, she woke up this morning. That's a victory, okay? So listen, drop the victim's mentality and start moving forward by celebrating those wet victories and I guarantee you, you'll start seeing those wet manifestations of good gifts and yum yums. I hope y'all got it but if you didn't get it, rewind this thing and watch again. 
rewind it and watch again in the meantime in between time if you take just a little bit of what i'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability you won't ever 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 have the mask of smile why because your smiles will always be genuine i'll talk to y'all soon be blessed stay blessed be blessed stay blessed be blessed stay blessed y'all know what's coming next